Now, uh, our bees and butterflies have been in decline for a long time now, with a loss of habitat and pesticides being pretty big contributing factors. Yes, but there is hope, as research shows, that gardens left to grow wild and free have more species of bumblebees and other wildlife than those that are kept sprayed and tidy. Let's bring in the one and only Michaela Strachan, who joins us now. Really good to see you this morning, Michaela. Why is it, I know there's been talk particularly about bees for a long time. Why is it so important that we protect them? Well, they're pollinators, and without pollinators, then we're in big trouble. You know, they about one in th every three bites of our food is created with the help of a pollinator. So if we don't have pollinators, we're going to lose an awful lot of the food we eat. It's going to be difficult to produce. But not only that, they're absolutely vital to our environments and our ecology. So we have to protect our pollinators. And the statistics of their decline are absolutely shocking. 70% of butterfly species have declined since the 1970s. A third of British wild bees and hoverflies are in decline. These are terrible numbers. You know, we think of ourselves as a nature-loving country. And in fact, we're one of the most nature-depleted countries in the world. And I've, I'm shocked by that. Your viewers should be shocked by that. But I do think that we say these statistics, then we have to brush them aside because we don't want people to feel disengaged, disempowered and helpless. We want people to feel like they can do something about it. And there are things that you can do to help our pollinators. Yes, yeah, so tell us, for people who are feeling quite distressed by those statistics, mm. what can they do to help? Well, the campaign that I'm talking about today, and the, as I say, I'm, I'm actually talking about pollinators today, because let's face it, a lot of our wildlife is in trouble. But let's focus on the pollinators right now. And this is a campaign that's that's with um, Florette Salad and Naturehood UK. And it's to encourage people to go on a pollinator picnic. And I know people are thinking, well, how's that going to help our pollinators? But it's to raise awareness. It's to inspire people. It's to raise funds. And what we want people to do is go on a picnic somewhere beautiful, sit down, Put your picnic out on the rug. First of all, think about how much of that food wouldn't be there if it wasn't for pollinators. You know, you know you've got fruit, you've got vegetables, coffee, chocolate, spices, all these things need pollinators. Otherwise, we just won't have them. And then what we want people to do is before they go on their picnic, go on the Naturehood website and download some of the IDs. And that will tell you First of all, what pollinators are, because I think most people think pollinators, bees, and that's about as far as it goes. But it's, it's bees, it's wasps, it's beetles, it's moths, it's butterflies. There are lots of creatures that pollinate. And then it gives you these ID cards where you can actually go and look for the different pollinators, look for the different bees. Again, most people think there's probably, what, one bee that we have in this country? 270 species of bee. Wow. So, And they all look slightly different. So, you know, Go particularly go with a child because, you know, children don't lose the wonder of wildlife. And if you go and look at the wonder of wildlife through the eyes of a child, then it will inspire your imagination again. And once you do that, once we raise that awareness and educate people and get them enthused, then they want to do something about it. And there are so many things you can do to help pollinators in your gardens. And the worst thing you can do, guys, the worst thing you can do is pave your whole garden over or put fake lawn on it. You know, we want to share our gardens with wildlife, particularly pollinators. So, you know, yes, you might want some paving because you want your barbecue, you want your table and chairs. Fair enough, Stephen and Ellie, but, you know, leave some of it, leave a bit of the lawn there. Don't mow it in May, no mow May. All these are things that mm. will help wildlife. Plants yeah. and pollinator plants.